What is going on, everybody? Back with some more WNBA best bets. I got four picks for you guys today. Hopefully, we can pull off that sweep. This is your last day to be able to get a free month of VIP. Sign up for Rebet. It's absolutely free right now, guys. You don't have to deposit to get your free month of VIP. All you have to do is create an account using code ACES in the referral code section, and you get a free month of VIP to send me a screenshot. Like I said, this is the last day. Starting tomorrow on July 1st, you will have to drop, uh, leave a deposit and uh, Rebet to get a free month of VIP. But Rebet's awesome, guys. It's the newest sports book on the market, available in 46 states, Idaho, Nevada, Michigan, and I think somebody said Minnesota they're no longer available in. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm not sure what the four state is exactly. But they are available in almost every single state. Highly recommend you guys sign up with Rebet. It's a great platform. I think it's going to be one of the biggest sports books on the market here shortly. So uh, I definitely would get in on it early. They have some good value right now. And uh, you can get a deposit match if you use code ACES as well. So sign up for Rebet. Code ACES. Link in the description. Let me know. And you get a free month of VIP. I do have one more plug. And then we'll jump into these free picks. That plug is going to be for DGF or DG Fantasy. DGF is an optimizer. It's a tool that takes all of our plays from our apps like Prize Picks and Underdog. What it does is it compares them directly to sports books. It gives you a percent odds to hit or positive EV value based off the value of the sports books, and then they create their own DGF sports book value. So, really good platform. Makes line shopping super easy. There's not a lot on the board on Prize Picks for WNBA right now. That's why all these are kind of red. But um, usually there is. If you change this to like pretty much all sports there's a bunch of them with like a 58 percent hit rate you guys can get a free you can get our free vip for the entirety of you keeping dgf so if you have dgf for 10 months you get our vip for 10 months highly recommend you guys sign up use code aces for 25 percent off as well as uh your free month of vip if you guys go over here to tools you can go over to ai slip generator it's a new thing they have right now it seems like they have no slips on the board but it sometimes will be a slip here it's like a five man or a six man you just click that it'll automatically populate into your app for you you don't have to find a place but um ai slip generator shows a total of up 1200 units so 20 percent return on investment so uh if you guys are interested in that they do have that as well but anyways guys let's go ahead and jump into these free picks first free pick will be for wnba we are still doing the dgf play of the day the dgf play of the day yesterday i think chalk so i think they're three and three right now on the wnba play of the day i'll have to check up on that to make sure for uh for sure but um we are keeping a record of the dgf play of the day down in the comments so dgf play of the day like i said there's not a lot on the board so i kind of had to just pick what i like the pick that i took ended up being caitlin clark prize picks has her at 17 right now but uh, on some platforms, she is 16 and a half. I know you could get her on 16 and a half on Sleeper and Chalkboard. I'm not sure if it's bumped yet or not. But taking Caitlin Clark over 17 points on uh, on prize picks as well. So I wouldn't go any higher than 17. I guess you could go, uh, well, I was going to say you go 17 and a half. Don't go 17 and a half. I think 17 is probably as high as I would go on this one. Like I said, it was 16 and a half. So uh, some platforms still have it there. But Clark, over 17, you got a 54% chance to go over. She's cashed this. And I'm going to change it to 16 and a half. That way you can see the 17 value. So she's pushed her cash this four over the last 10. And then 53% on the season. She has had two games where she's got 17 on the dot. So 53% uh, 53 of games. They're playing against the Mercury tonight. The Mercury give up ninth in the league in points. So they give up around 85 points a game, which is a good bit for the WNBA one of the most in the league so uh i like this play a lot hopefully clark can get at least 17 fours and at least to get us to push but that is pick number one dgf play of the day like i said not a lot on the board for dgf right now they don't even have us uh, this next game that i'm about to post on here yet hopefully when it drops on prize picks this uh second play will at least be close to what the value is right now on other platforms so second play of the day the one i'm talking about is going to be for our girl brianna uh stewart so in so Brianna Stewart gonna take her over three and a half assists. So it's a play that I like a lot. It's one of my favorite plays. <clears throat> I know it's not on Price Picks yet because I have checked. Got 59% chance to go over minus 140-ish odds. Price Picks will probably post this at four. This is okay to take at four. Don't go any higher than four. Four is as high as I would go on that. It's gonna add push potential. She's cast this in six of her last ten games. 60% of her last 20. She's cast it five of her six games versus Atlanta. And uh, you can see she's getting six and five assists in about every single game. In 2024 season so far, she's casting 11 of 19 games, which is 58%. And you can see Atlanta gives up seventh in the league in assists, which is a little over middle of the pack. But um, sorry, my dog's crying for some reason. But um, anyway, that is our second pick for WNBA. Brianna, Brianna Stewart over three and a half assists. Like I said, four on prospects is as high as I would go on this. Don't go any higher than four. 
but um, that is pick number two. For our next two pick, we will be transitioning over to MLB. So we've got two baseball picks for you guys as well, which I'm sure you guys already know that. And uh, we do have a free slip for you guys for Sleeper. And uh, we do have some chalkboard in our Discord already if you guys want to sign up for our VIP. If you guys do want to sign up for our VIP, head on over to our Patreon. 25 bucks a month, you get every play we post, every play our mods post as well. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the second two picks of the day. Our first one is going to be for our man, Freddy Peralta. So taking Peralta, and we're going to take him under two and a half walks. So uh, walks allowed, under two and a half, 61% to go under, minus 155-ish across the board. You can see he's cashed just in eight of his last 10 games, 85% of his last 20. He's cashed it one of three games so far uh, for Chicago. Yes, uh two or three games he hasn't went over, but I like to play, man. Uh, on 2024 season so far, he's cashed this in uh, 13 of 16 games, which is 81% of games. So great value on this play right now. I don't think he's going to be on prize picks. You're probably going to have to be able to get it on sleeper or chalkboard. If you guys sign up with our code on either of those apps, you do get a free month of VIP as well. So I highly recommend you guys at least give one of them a try. But um, Peralta, two and a half walks. So right up for this one, I put uh, Peralta has been under this in every start, but three on the season. The Cubs average three and a half walks per game, which is near the top of the uh, top of the league, which is why this line is what it is. I feel there's some value still in it at two and a half. Peralta struck out 11 Cubs when he faced them earlier this season, and he only walked two, so he stayed under earlier this season. So going to uh, take this play at two and a half. Peralta under two and a half walks. Let's go ahead and see what they have on on uh, prize picks, they do not have walks, which I figured. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the slip for you guys because you can see it. You get a little 2.24x value here. $50 to win you 112. Obviously, 100 to win you 224. But um, you can see we took Freddie Peralta under two and a half PBB, which is players based by balls, which is uh, a walk, 1.47x value. And then you got uh, our man Waldron over here under three and a half earned runs is pick number two, which I think that number is a little bit high. We'll go over that in just a second. So let's go ahead and pull up Waldron. Matt Waldron under three and a half earned runs. 61% chance to go under this. Minus 170 and minus 179 on Caesar. So huge value here for that 1.5x value still. He's cashed just in nine of his last 10, 75% of his last 20. He's been under 12 of 16 games, which is 75% on the season. Looking at this play, we put Waldron's give up two or fewer runs in nine straight games. And some of these have been against some good offenses. He's lowered his ERA down to a 3.43, and I think this line's probably going to get bumped to two and a half. So lock it in early. I can see it going down to two and a half, and uh, or at least three, honestly. That way, it adds push potential. But anyway, I like to play for our man Matt Waldron a lot. I probably like this one uh, at least just as good as the Peralta play personally. But um, we'll see what they do have on prize picks. I know they're not going to have walks on here, but um, they got pitching outs. So I'm probably not going to touch that. But uh, Matt Waldron under. Three and a half earned runs as pick number two. So those are our four plays, guys. Yes, only one of them's on prize picks right now. Hopefully, uh, the Brianna Stewart play ends up going on there. But for MLB, we have Freddie Peralta under two and a half walks, PBB on sleeper. And you got Matt Waldron under three and a half earned runs, which at a 1.53 value on that, I think that's a huge value and I really like to play. And if we go over here to prize picks, Obviously, a DGF play of the day, Caitlin Clark, 17 points. I like it better at 16 and a half. I wouldn't go any higher than 17 personally. 17 is going to give you push potential, but um, I wouldn't go. I don't. I wouldn't take the chance going over 17 and a half. That's just me. You can if you want. Then our last pick was Brianna Stewart over three and a half assists, which has not been put on prize picks just yet. So hopefully, when they add that game, they can uh. They'll throw uh, Brianna Stewart on there as well. But anyways, guys, hope you have a great day. If you guys want a chance at free VIP, leave a like and a comment on this video. If we get 200 likes on this video, I'll pick a random comment to win a free month of VIP. Once again, it's your last chance to sign up for Rebet without having to deposit to get a free month. Go check it out. And then if you guys want to check out DGF as well, link down in the description. Hope you guys have a great day. See y'all in the next one.